Hey friends, welcome back to another face mask alchemy video. Happy July 1st. It's now here we are with farm stand. And then I'm gonna use a splash of organic vegetable glycerin. I thought I would paint this mask on while I talk to you about it. And I think a lot of you know what a stickler I am for texture. So that is one of the reasons I'm so excited about this mask. Because look at this texture, it's just like butter. So smooth. So the mask this month is white kaolin clay really gentle. I wanted to make a nice clarifying mask for all skin types. So um, like I was saying, when you mix it up, if you use some vegetable glycerin or aloe, you can really um, increase the hydrating properties of the mask. Um, but if you are one of, if you're like anybody in the summertime and you're having sweltering heat and you just really need to balance out your skin, this is going to be the perfect solution. Um, very lightweight, very gentle, but gonna do great things for the skin. So the base is white kale and clay. And then I actually have mixed in there, it's called farm stand, right? So I wanted it to have a lot of, um, you know, kind of uh, plant ingredients. So it has something called um, wild turmeric. And what that is, is it's, a, it's another variation of turmeric that um, is an orange and it's very lightweight and it's very fragrant. So it's very lightweight, it doesn't stain the skin so you can actually use it in larger quantities. You know, when you're using actual turmeric in products, you kind of have to be careful about how much you put in there because it can stain the skin. Um, so it's got a blend of the wild turmeric and then I threw in some Hawaiian turmeric. Um, the varieties of Hawaiian turmeric are very aromatic. They smell gorgeous. When you smell the mask, that very lightweight sort of perfumey smell is the Hawaiian turmeric. Um, and then there's also some maca root in there. Maca root and I just have this like intense connection. And um, I just find that it has a very lightweight astringent property as well as bringing a lot of vitamins and minerals to the skin. And I just find it to be one of my favorite masking ingredients. It has a very grounding smell. So it's just like, um, the mask is very lightweight, but it also has these um, sort of rooty, earthy elements and then I've kind of balanced that with some fruity elements. Now I've been playing with fruit extracts for a while now and this is the first mask I'm launching them in and um, so it has extracts of banana, papaya, pineapple, and guava. And so that's a very clarifying blend because papaya and pineapple bring to the mask some fruit enzymes that will help lightly exfoliate the skin. Um, guava and banana all, um, bring sort of an antibacterial clarifying properties to the mask. And then I also put in some amla fruit in there, which is the Indian gooseberry, which is really high in antioxidants. And the, um, the powder that I found is so gorgeous and luxe and creamy that this mask is just like, so dreamy to me. I just, I love the texture, I love the feel, I love the results. Um, and then of course I threw in my lightweight splash of coconut milk. But I just find your skin has a very gentle um, refinement when you take off this mask. Like it's just feels so fresh, but not um, dehydrated, you know, it's not stripping. So I'm really excited for you guys to try this one. It's a definite favorite of mine. And then for the oil this month, it's a blend of papaya seed oil as well as uh, passion fruit oil. So keeping in the farm stand theme and then also just to note that if you want to increase the um, exfoliating properties, you know, you can add some of that papaya seed oil because it actually does also contain some of those fruit enzymes that are exfoliating. Um, and then the passion fruit oil is a really nice astringent oil um, and really helps balance out any breakouts that you might be having and uh, just a really nice oil for summertime, just a really nice blend for summertime. So I listed a couple of these individually in the shop because I know some people sometimes would love to purchase just the one mask and not sign up for the subscription. So I do have a couple of these uh, listed in the shop and I do have a couple subscriptions open. 
I hope you guys love this mask. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you love the mask.